Hi, this is Theo from Prockerblocks.com. Today I'm going to show you my backup system, the storage drives that I use to back up my files, my videos, and my computer. The point of having a backup system is so that you do not lose any files or data in the event that your computer breaks down or if your original storage drive it starts to misbehave and give you read and write errors. Now with a backup system, it's going to save you a lot of heartache and it can save you a lot of time. Different people are going to have different needs. If it's just for personal use, then having one external drive will be enough. If you are working in an environment with other colleagues, then maybe you need other system like network storage so that everybody can save and back up to the same uh, system, either wirelessly or through the network. So um, depending on your needs, you will have to choose different backup solutions. Today, I'm going to share with you my personal experience with uh, some of these external drives that I have. My only experience with a major hard drive failure was actually more than 10 years ago. Back then, I do not have a lot of important files or documents, so I did not lose a lot of things. And my music collection was actually backed up onto DVD drives, so I can actually just copy back. So the most inconvenient part about losing that hard drive was actually to reinstall Windows. And a few years later, I moved over to the Mac system. So um, depending on your operating system, your backup um, solution may actually be slightly different. So let me show you the first hard drive that I bought. This is the Western Digital My Passport Studio. This was made for the Mac. This has FireWire 800. I bought this to back up my Mac Mini. This guy here. So I can back up using FireWire 800. This has two terabytes in terms of capacity. I can back up everything. Now, I have a lot of Western Digital external drives. And the reason why I like Western Digital is because they provide international warranty. So that means I can buy the drive from Amazon USA. And in case they break down, I can still service them here in Singapore. So that's why I like Western Digital. I mean, there are other brands out there like Hitachi, Seagate, and also Transient. But um, Western Digital seems to be the only brand that provides uh, international warranty. Of course, uh, you must make sure that you have a service center in your country to take advantage of that. So this is from a very long time ago. And then I upgraded to the My Passport series. This is the to different My Passport series. Actually, all these are part of the My Passport series. This is My Passport Studio, My Passport Slim, My Passport for Mac, My Passport Ultra. They are essentially the same thing. So even though he says here my passport for Mac, you can actually just format this and use it with Windows. What, what this means is um, this has been pre-formatted for use with Mac, so you can start using it immediately the moment you take out from the box. But if you, but all these drives you can format it for use on either Windows or Macs. There's no problem at all. So I bought this. This is the second one that I bought. 2 terabytes as well. I use this to store all my uh, files like music, documents, video files. This drive, I call it storage. I use a pencil to write on the hard drive so that I know what's inside. Now, the point of having a backup system is so that um, you do not lose any files. So I only have one copy of the files inside this drive. That's why I have to buy an external drive two external drives so that this drive can back up to this. I, all the files that are inside here, they are not in my computer. So I only have one copy here. To have an effective backup system, you need two copies for redundancy. So I have one copy here and the backup here. And nowadays backup systems like this, um, external drives like this, they are not very expensive for US $100 you can get probably a drive around two terabytes and that is probably uh, good enough for most people because two terabytes it's a huge amount of storage and for all these external drives they use USB 3 
so the transfer speed is quite fast definitely faster than firewire 800 all these are actually usb3 so they share the same uh, cable and this back black drives here are also my passport series this is two terabytes this is three terabytes i use this to back up my system i'm using a apple mac pro desktop so i back up everything onto this the, including the os the application so there are not a lot of document files inside this is mainly to back up the operating system and the applications and of course I have a backup of the backup just in case uh, anything happens so you can see that I'm pretty risk adverse I have backups of backups and recently I bought this extra um, drive this is a one terabyte transient store jet with an SSD inside and the reason why I bought this is because this is less of a backup system I use this to store my operating system as well now I have been having a lot of problems with my computer the Mac Pro so recently I sent it in for servicing and it took three weeks at the service center before they actually returned the computer to me so during that time I have to go back to using this Mac mini now the good thing about this drive is I have already backed up my OS into this drive so while my Mac Pro was at the service center I was still able to keep on working keep on producing videos just because I have this particular drive and the reason is because my OS is inside my applications is inside I can just plug my this Thunderbolt drive uh, cable into my Mac mini and I can just work from the OS here uh, using the processor in my Mac mini so I have a backup computer as well so that I can always work even if my main computer goes down and basically this drives it allows me to work anywhere on any Mac computer so let's say if my Mac mini and my Mac Pro they both break down if I want to carry on working I would have to buy for example an iMac and I can plug this into the iMac and I can start working immediately the moment I uh, switch on the power for the iMac so that is very very convenient and this is why you should have a backup because it allows you to not lose any files and for the case of me I need my system to be working at all times I can work uh, from backup systems like this now this transient store jet is using an SSD inside that is a solid state drive so it has very fast read and write speed I install my operating system inside so when I plug it into a computer I can boot up my OS from this and it boots up in a few seconds I can see the lock-in screen if you just want a simple backup solution um, just get the cheaper uh, hard drive they are still using those spinning hard drives so they are a bit slower when it comes to reading and writing you can still boot up your system you can still install your operating system inside and boot it up from here just that it will take a bit longer so for drives like this I use it to store files once a month I will plug this into my computer and transfer the file it will take a few hours to transfer all the files inside so it's not as fast but i do not need this to be fast i need this to be fast i use this on a daily basis i boot up from this so it saves me a lot of time there are different brands out there that provide ssd storage in uh, external drives like this another prominent brand is the samsung t3 Samsung T3 is also SSD in external storage form and they use USB 3 now this drive that I have it uses Thunderbolt and USB 3 the speed difference between these two well in real life situation is not that significant to me both are very fast I have tried booting up from USB 3 and also from Thunderbolt and they are pretty much the same speed so 
for the Samsung T3 SSD, it's probably going to boot up as fast. I also use a thumb drive. I use this when I just want to transfer some files and bring it to the office. This is probably the most portable solution. I know some people they like to buy those tiny thumb drive with 256 gigs of storage and plug it into their laptops. I think that works well and it's definitely smaller compared to uh, drives like this. So that's all for my review. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. I will post links to all the different hard drives that I recommend in the video description so that you can check it out. And I do highly recommend you get at least one external drive just to back up files, just in case your computer breaks down. I think um, for US $100, it is worth the hassle. It is uh, worth um, the money. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.